Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how to create a very simple macro to automate a process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a macro of my signature block and then activate the macro onto a toolbar at the top of the screen, the quick access toolbar up here. So first of all, you've got um, macro options on the developer tab and also on the view tab so you've got macros there so if you haven't got the developer tab you can go to the file options area and customize ribbon and then just tick on the developer tab and then it will appear up there cancel that but you don't have to do that and if you've got restrictions you might not be able to do that so on the developer tab you've got the macro area on the left it says code so we're going to record a macro. So basically when you click record a macro, it records everything you do on the screen, including mistakes. So if you make mistakes like spelling mistakes, it will record that as well. You can then edit, edit the macro if it's a spelling mistake. But if it's more than that, you would need to know how to use Visual Basic. So a simple macro is what I'm going to do. So I'll click on record and then it comes up with a name. I'll call this um, test. And then you've got two options, a keyboard or a command button. Keyboard, command. So I want a button, so I'll click that option. And then straight away it comes into quick access toolbar. So this is word options. So just below customized ribbon where I was a minute ago. And there, there is that macro name already. Now it's asking me to push this across to the quick access toolbar, which is across the top there, which I will do. And then you can modify this so it has a symbol as opposed to all that text so i'll click on the smiley face click ok so now that's going to have a smiley face and then i click ok and then it is now recording that is a record symbol so whatever i type there so i'll put um, steve saxton it manager it's easy train and then make up my phone number 0866 or something like that so when you're ready to stop recording you go and click on stop if you forget to stop recording whatever you do thereafter is going to be part of the macro and eventually you'll crash the machine because it'll keep recording what you're doing so you must stop recording stop now you can see the little smiley face up there it says test and if I click that it just puts in the information that I recorded while I was doing that macro then if I go to macros you can see test and then you can edit the macro and then the code window comes up the visual basic window comes up and basically you can see what that would look like in terms of code if you coded that you can you can see what it would be so if you did do a typo, uh, say there was a capital, not a capital letter there and you wanted it to be capital, you could just change that and save save the changes and this would work. Other, otherwise, you can just um, type it out like this if you know what code to put um, and then close that window down and then you've fixed it. So for simple changes, you can just click on that um, macro option and go to edit and it will fix it. So that's how you create a basic macro. Now that was one to um, type some text on the screen, but you can create macros to open files and to save files and all sorts of things. So it's not just putting text on, but I just wanted to show you a very basic macro in this little video. In another video later on, I'll do some more complicated macros so you can see how they work and some of the other features you can have in Word. But for now, that's all I want to talk about. So hopefully you found that useful. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.